just give uh, Teddy Sharingham a quick call. Been away for a few days. Teddy, you okay, bud? How's it going? I've been away for a few days. That's six games, I think it is. How many have you won? Hello and welcome back to Wickham Wonder Kids. Coming up in today's show, we run through the transfer activity from the January transfer window and we play two football matches. And don't forget guys, if you like the video at any point, smash that like button and subscribe if you are new, but also if you are old, subscribe if you are new, old, young, big, small. Charlton was our last game on the screen. We lost that 1-0. Unfortunately, we went on a little bit of a bad run then. We lost to Stoke and Huddersfield, but we smashed Charlton 4-0 and then had a couple of decent draws against Preston and Aston Villa respectively. In terms of January then, January has been and gone. Our transfers have been many and have been interesting. We let Burley go for 6.5 thousand, which is peanuts to be honest, you shouldn't have even bother letting him go for that. We bought Callum Kavanagh in, the Irish winger, to cover for the injury which has happened. We will speak about that in a little bit. Also, we bought another couple of young kids in, and if you've forgotten the rules, this is Wickham Wonder Kids. We can only sign under 23 players. A couple of 16 and 17 year olds that are going to be good in the future, but not really good enough now although Nick Hallett could do a job for us on the right wing because shock shock horror our best player has got injured for the rest of the season Daryl Horgan not only is he out for four to seven months with a broken leg he has also signed a contract to go and play for some other team somewhere Spazer I've never heard of him Syria A ah. Spazer Calcio in Syria A ah. so he's going there Good luck to him. He's 29. He's our best player at the moment. But hopefully when we get into the Premier League next year, fingers crossed, he won't be needed. We've dropped down a little bit in the championship, down to eighth. You can see that there. Hopefully we can get a couple of good results today against Derby and Luton to get us back up there. In terms of the squad then, looking into this game, we are playing Necker Williams right back. Toby Tyler, one of the new guys at left back, he's a young kid and yeah, looking at it, it might be a little bit scary, but he is going to be good, so we've got to give him some games and we know Jacobson, oh, well, we know what happened to him last time with those penalties. So Ricky J. Jones really doing well up front there, growing into his role. David playing on the left with the Irish Ollone on the right. He's either footed, he's only 18 years old, he's going to be good. So yeah, we're going for that. Hannibal in the middle with Drehea, our free signing from the free transfer market. Lowe has come in for centre-back alongside Stewart instead of McCarthy, the guy we got on loan from Swansea here. We've got a clause where we can buy him at any point during the loan, and he is looking good, to be honest with you, but I don't think he's played for us yet, so it's his first game. McCarthy's form hasn't been great. Oh, shit, I can only play with five loan players in my first team. How many have I got? One, two, three, four... Five. I've got five. Oh, my goalkeeper as well. Six. Okay, so maybe we've got to rethink that position there. We'll have to put the young guy, Hallett, on the right wing. And Kavanaugh won't be able to make the bench, unfortunately. Four changes made from the last match where Teddy Sheringham has been managing the team. And the game kicks off. Wickham playing at home. Luton obviously playing away. That's how it works. One team plays at home. The other team plays away. First highlight then. Hallett picks it up on his debut. Gives it out to Necker Williams at right back. Wickham's loses out to Joe Morrell and Luton break. Great save though by Garaba. Wickham really chasing this playoff spot, so hopefully they can win this game and get back up into those positions. Not much happening in the game here. 28 minutes gone without another highlight. Four shots apiece, but Wickham have had 84% possession. Here we go then, Garaba with the ball. Oh no, what was that? Garabba gives the ball away to some guy in the middle of the park and they score straight away. What's happened here? Oh my god. 
Okay. Well, there it is. That was terrible. 38 minutes gone, we lose 1 0. Throw in there on the right. Williams puts it in. Gets it back. Puts it back in, hopefully, from the byline. Jones misses to the left hand side. Half time, Wickham go in, losing 1 0. Luton with a substitution at 45 minutes. You don't see that very often. Wickham have got to pull something out here. Tyler to David. He's got an injury. McCann to Tyler. David is still playing well, though, with that injury. Gives it to Hannibal. Out to Hallett. Oh, takes a shot, nearly scores in his debut there. 54 minutes gone. Wonder Kids demands more from his team as we see another highlight. Garaba picks it up. Can he atone for the error which he made earlier? He gives it out to Hallett, who's on the yellow card. What can he do? He gives it to Jones. Cross is long, but Wicker managed to retain possession somehow. David with a shot into the top corner. The injured man, number 23, comes up with his 15th goal of the season. Here's the replay. McCann, the deep line playmaker, out to the young left back. Into Drehir and David finishes it off. The score is level. Williams with a throw. Hallett. Williams gets it back. Is he going to put another ball in from that right-hand side? And David scores again. This is 16th goal of the season. I thought he was meant to be injured. McCann again with that deep line playmaker role. Williams doing bits here on the right-hand side. Probably the best player in the team, but great finish from David. 2-1. 70 minutes gone now. Tyler can't win the ball at left back. Luton pressing, and Luton score the second. James Collins with his eighth goal of the season. One of the kids has got his head in his hands. Joe Morrell with a through ball and his acres of space for Collins. Stewart holds his arms out in the air, but it looks like it was his fault. Who was he kidding? Wickham go very attacking. And one of the kids looks to make a sub. David wants to stay on. But the injury is affecting his game. He's at a 7.9 rating though. I might keep him on. Who can we bring on? Let's bring on Jacobson for those set pieces. The last few minutes. But that is it now. Jacobson with the throw. Hannibal. And Hannibal scores. Jacobson with the assist. One of the kids is a genius. Surely we're winning that now. It's 3-2. Great turn from Hannibal there. Teddy Sheringham was telling me to take him off. Told me he was tired. There was no way I was taking that man off. Mentality goes back to balanced. And Wickham come out on top. 3-2. Finally some luck for the Wanderers. Happy days. Next up, Derby. Bring it on. That was Tyler's professional debut there at left back. No. Rookie Jay Jones is injured. Tight calf. Out for one or two days. I think we can get away with playing him. Tight calf. Two changes then for this game. Callum Kavanagh comes in on the right. The, that is the Irish kid, the, the Hogan. Two changes then for this game. Callum Kavanagh comes in on the right. That is our best player replacement. The Irish guy, you wouldn't even know the difference. They're both Irish. And McCarthy comes back in at centre-back. He was only dropped because of a bit of poor form, but he is first choice, and this shows it. Ricky J. Jones is still nursing that tight calf, but we are able to play him just about. He's orange rather than being red. So we go with that. Tyler keeps his place. Had a decent game on his professional debut. Um, we know that Jacobson's days are numbered. Kick off then at Pride Park. It is Pride Park, isn't it? Derby's home ground. It used to be Pride Park. Oh dear. I thought that was in number 13. Gelhart, was it? Fond memories of him from last year. He watched all of the Hampton Wonder Kids last year on FM20. If you haven't watched it, I'll try and remember to link the playlist up there. It was really good. Oh gosh, they're counter-attacking us like mad there, but Grabara manages to pull off a save against the odds. Gosh, Derby look like a good team. Good tackle though from Dreher. Get it together, Wickham. 13 minutes gone. They've had three shots. Throw in deep into opposition territory. 
Hannibal Atamakan, David into Jones. Is it offside or is it his 22nd goal of the season? Yes, it is. Ricky J. Jones with his 22nd goal of the season. Throw in there from Tyler, David, Hannibal. Out to McCann, the deep line playmaker. Puts a lovely ball back into David. Great finish from Jay Jones, as always. Puts us back up into sixth place in the live league table, but we won't speak too soon. Only 18 minutes gone, yeah. McCarthy's had a yellow card on eight minutes. A chance there for Derby from a corner. Squeaky bum time. Grabber are playing out of the back. I'm not confident with him there. Kavanagh picks it up on the right-hand side. What's he got? Number nine gets tackled. Great header there, won by Stewart. But Gelhart's back in here. Grabber pulls out an important save. Derby winning a lot of corners. 32 minutes gone now. It's been a very close game. Williams with the throw and Kavanaugh with the ball and David to here. This is great football. Tyler picks it up though and it slows down a bit and goes backwards. McCann out to Williams. Wickham has still got the ball from this move. Williams tries the assist but loses out. Kavanaugh should have finished that. The goalkeeper had come out. It was almost an open goal. Duncan to Gellhart. He's one on one with the keeper. The keeper saves it, but it comes back to Joe Gellhart, who scores his 10th goal of the season. One all. Oh, I can't bring myself to watch that replay. Where were the defence? Oh, it could be a counter-attack on here. David picks the ball up. Through to Jones. Oh, this boy is on fire. RJJ. You're my man. 2-1. Corner from Hannibal. Oh. We're very susceptible to the counter-attack from corners. But we've picked it back up. That's good. Grabber tries the assist to Ricky J. Jones and almost whipped. Okay, so we're back in our defensive formation, but we've won the ball. David picks it up, right, left-hand side, loses it, gets it back. Great counter-pressing, loses it again, but we get it back again with Tyler. McCann puts it out to Williams. Great engine there from Williams. Kavanaugh into Jones, <laughs> is that his hat-trick? This is 24th goal of the season and he scored a hat-trick. Got to see that replay. So confident every time Williams gets the ball on the right-hand side here. Great ball in from Kavanaugh. Half time. We feel I feel lucky to go into half time three one. We've had slightly less possession. We've had slightly more expected goals. Oh my god, that was a great chance from Galhart. Derby are playing some lovely stuff. Cross from deep there. We should have dealt with it though. Fifty five minutes gone now. Fifty seven. Tyler into Hannibal. Loses the ball, gets it back. Great counter press in here from the Wonder Kids. Oh, and Hannibal puts it wide. Great chance. We've had 10 shots now, but Derby have had 12. But we've got that two goal lead, which inspires confidence. Let's have a look at substitutions. David's engine has gone here. We're replacing with Samuel. Wayne Rooney has to go. Is Wayne Rooney playing? Has he been sent off? Just saw it in the commentary down below. I thought he was managing Derby in real life. Or was he player manager? I think he was player manager. 84 minutes gone. Wickham look like they're winning this. Two wins in a row. It's unheard of for Wickham Wanderers. Grab her out to Stewart playing up from the back, but then booting it long. That was a very strange thing to do from Stewart. But he makes amends there. Rooney, there he is, number 32 in centre midfield. Kelly, Duncan, Stewart clears it again. He's making mistakes, but then he's making up for his mistakes. That's it, 90 minutes, 91, 92, Wickham 3-1, back into sixth place, back into the playoff spots. Amazing stuff from the Wonder Kids. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've liked. 
I hope you have subscribed. We'll see you next time. There's the league position, sixth place, back where we belong, or back at least where we hope to be, or at least, at least where we hope to be finishing around about the end of the season. Join us next time, and hopefully we will be pushing for those playoffs. If not, we will be playing those playoffs. Thanks for watching.